witchcraft or Satanism sends familiar spirits or demonic spirits your way. So how have you opened the door? I mean, you say they can't hijack you, but what if what if a you know a group involved in the seance or whatever is trying to hex or curse you? Well, with the demonic spirits. I mean, how have you you haven't opened that door to that? Well, how, no, that depends. That depends. So I mean, why why you know I mean what door? Well, I don't know. I don't know the person, but if 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 uh, you're you're sinning and I'm going to go to a séance and put a hex on you, there's doors open over there. Okay. See, like in Proverbs, it says an undeserved curse doesn't light on somebody. Hey, if you're living in sin or you're doing this or that, and somebody puts a curse on you, hey, there's a door open there. I'll talk to you after the seminar. Okay. Thank you. They bring a, a your, you have a Bible. You tell them, yeah, yeah, bring it. So you bring the Bible. They take your Bible, give you another book, look like the Bible, but beautiful, made and colorly and golden stuff and black stuff, and give you to you. That's how they trick you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I didn't know that. But anyway, that's a so form that's, of an so open that's door. Opening the door. That's opening the door, right? Thank you, sir. Now, if you also came from this. These are all door openers to these monsters. Or if you have people in your family tree that open these doors, these spirits are now in your family tree. They're going to come down the tree looking to pick you and other people off. These things are dangerous to be involved in. Dangerous. Uh, did you ever play Light of the Feather when you was a kid? Risky. Bloody Mary, do the mirror thing. That's risky. Risky. Inviting in Dungeons and Dragons. Very dangerous when I was a kid. A lot of guys were playing Dungeons and Dragons. They got infected. All that stuff, okay? These are door openers. These are all door openers we went through. Cults, uh, different religious groups. All these different things are all familiar spirits. All right, now let's go to the church familiar spirits. These are the spirits. This will be kind of short. I have a whole seminar on this, so we're not going to go through all that tonight. But right now, sweeping the country, these kundalini demons are floating through charismatic churches like you can't believe. And they are extremely dangerous. Here's how they attack you. They try to give you happiness, laughter, and euphoria. That's what they hit you with. And they use different things to do it. Dreams, visions, surges of energy in your body. They'll start laugh. People start massively laughing. These kundalini spirits are very good work oriented. They like charity work. They like uh, you to rescue sex slaves or feed the homeless or do all kinds of good things. Very, they're very, very uh, positive toward that. They give all kinds of spiritual revelations. The words come to them constantly. People have these spirits. And here's how you transfer them. Usually it's done by laying hands on somebody. So if this person has a kundalini spirit and you ask them to pray for you or they come up and pray for you without asking you, they can transfer something into your body. And Paul said in 1 Timothy 5, watch that so you don't become contaminated. Okay? You're not supposed to let people put their hands on you if you don't know who they are. If you don't know their background, you don't know their spiritual life, if you don't know them at all, it's best to have them pray for you over here. I can pray for you here without putting my hand on you. That's how these things are tran uh, transferred. And they're...
something. Wait till they come to Boston. <laughs> Toronto. Don't leave us to ourselves. Don't leave us to yes. our foolish thinking. Lord, we want all that you have. All, yes. all that you have. Yes. And Lord, if it blows our little minds, let them be blown. Father, we want all of what you have. All of what you have. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, just remind me of the old hymn that he needs, I will follow. And he had a, God told me to look at him, and I looked at him. And he had a tie on, and on, I don't know if he's here tonight, but he'll know, on the tie had a wolf howling at the moon. And the Lord said to me, will you howl for me? I said, don't ask me to do that, Lord. He said, if I ask you, will you do it? He said, if I can't ask you to do something in your own house, how are you going to do it out there? So, Now, um, did you happen to notice what the demons are doing here? Okay, they they give the people euphoria, and they feel good. Notice that. Then they then they because they hate them so much, they make them act like fools because they're mocking them, and they secretly think it's a Holy Ghost doing that to them. They're impersonators. They're faking the anointing and they're giving the person a good feel. They feel good. See? While you're howling, you're feeling good. Okay? You see these strange movements. These are these kundalini spirits from India give these people these strange jerking motions. Oh! They have all these things. And it feels good. And they were told that's God. So they want it. And if you want it, you have to keep it. Anyway, these things are sweeping, sweeping the country. You, you can't imagine what's going on. It's just unbelievable. And to get involved in the kundalini business, you've got to learn these skills. Time travel, you go to heaven regularly, you go through heavenly portals, uh, you can travel through space and time, uh, you have dream encounters, you got to learn these terms if you're going to get involved with these familiar spirits. Uh, when you go to these services, you get slammed and gutted and wrecked. Again, this whole thing's a trick by these spirits, they're impersonating the Holy Ghost and they're giving the person what they want, which is what? Some kind of spiritual reality. They want something spiritually real. They don't want to be like Lutherans and Episcopals and Methodists and so on. You just sit there and you hear something, you sing something and you go home. 
They want spiritual things, okay? And that's inbred in human beings. Your spirit man is crying out for the spirit world and for God. And the kundalini spirits know you want that and they know you need that. So they give you these fake experiences. And once they start doing it, you can hardly get rid of them. <clears throat> I'm running about 50-50 on them. Yeah. Somebody comes in. Yeah, get them out. I'm running about 50-50 on the deliverance of thereabouts. It's, it's not good. Because the person's will, they want them. See? They want a dream. They want to be taken somewhere. They want to go to heaven. They want to play ping pong with Jesus. They want all these things. See? And as you dig into the kundalini, your experiences start to accelerate. And they get more weird and more strange. You two time travel, astral projection, near-death experiences, all kinds of weird spiritual stuff. And it all feels good. It all sounds good. Yeah, I'm a Christian. Why can't I go to heaven? Uh, duh. Stupid. Okay, that's enough of that. Now, we're getting to the end of the seminar, so let's get down to the nitty-gritty here. If you have never been involved in these things... You've, you've sat here in the seminar tonight. You said, hey, I haven't been involved in witchcraft. I haven't been doing seances. I haven't done this and that and that and this and this and that and that and this. But I've got all these problems. Here's why. The spirits get into the family tree here. Then they go down the tree. Okay? And they try to oppress and attack every person in that tree. So if you had somebody in your family tree who was into witchcraft or sorcery, or the occult, or something like that. These familiar spirits, or they were in a false religion, or you came out of Mormonism, or something like that. You can have these familiar spirits <laughs> harassing you, oppressing you, or infecting your body, and that's where your sicknesses are coming from, even though you never actually went to a seance or used in a Ouija board. You may not have done it yourself, but your mother, your grandmother, your granddad, Somebody in your family tree was into something. Your grandpa was a hardcore mason or something. And he put vows on himself and vows on his children and his family tree and different things like that. Okay? What so, about yeah, that's all familiar spirits. Um, well, you need to stay for prayer then. Okay. Stay here tonight. Curses and by any of this stuff here in your family tree, you you could get caught. Even though you didn't do it. Okay? And here's how it works. The spirits get into the brain. They give the person these fake words. And the Holy Spirit is in the spirit man. And they're in two different areas in the same person. So those people we saw on the video acting like dogs and howling, they're good people. They're, they're Christians. They're born again. Spirit-filled. They speak in tongues. I'm not kidding. They are good people. They're not saying worshiper. They're, they love the Lord. They're just deceived. Okay? They're out of their league. We're playing in a league here. Way too smart for us. Got to have the Holy Spirit 100% in this league. Good people are deceived by these familiar spirits. This guy here, Paul came. This guy used to have a fantastic healing ministry. He was one of the uh, faith healers back in the revival days, 50s, 40s. Wow, he's he got in fears. Todd Bentley, the Lakeland disaster, all caused by familiar spirits. Jim Baker, the TV disaster, all deception in the brain. The, the, whole, the familiar spirits lying to the person pretending to be the whole of this guy here was a massively anointed man of God. Got infected with familiar spirits. Thought he was one of the two witnesses. Gosh. He went from witnessing to people about Christ to being one of the two witnesses. How can that happen? I just told you they're smarter than we are. Hey, if you open a door, you're going to get caught. Okay? Who's this guy? Uh, 
Yeah, very bad. Televangelist and radio enthusiast Pat Robertson made a major announcement yesterday. He says that God told him terrorists will conduct a mass killing in the United States in late 2007. God told him all this at a prayer retreat. And here's Pat with the news of our doom. It's going to happen. And uh, I'm not saying necessarily nuclear. The Lord didn't say nuclear, but I do believe it will be something like that. That will be a mass killing, possibly millions of people. I think we found our lead suspect. (laughs) But this is um, this is not the first crazy prediction from Pat Robertson. He does it every few months, and fortunately for us, his track record isn't very good. In fact, in order to do some damage control, the Trinity Broadcasting Network, his network, is running this promo right now. In 2004, God told Pat Robertson that President Bush would win re-election in a landslide. In 2005, God told Pat Robertson that Bush would enjoy victory after victory and that his Social Security reforms would be approved. In 2006, God told Pat Robertson that a tsunami would crash into America's coastline before the end of the year. God is a liar. <laughs> Kate Cole by Pat Robertson. Okay, now what's going on there? I just I just told you. Here's a good man of God, Pat. He's got the Holy Spirit in here. Familiar spirit in there. Every year he comes out with his prediction and catches about half of them. What's causing the other half? I just told you. Getting a good read here. Bad one here. Every year, he embarrasses himself, God, all of us. These are my, God told me this. Click, 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 ten of them. Half of them are, okay. What's wrong with the guy? He's a good man of God. Here's what happens. These these big-time preachers, they always surround themselves with yes men. Because... When you're surrounded by yes men, you can preserve your (coughs) self. And you're safe. The problem with yes men is, is that nobody tells you the truth. Or they're afraid to tell you the truth. So that if you make a mistake and I'm feeding off of your ministry and I'm, I'm feeding you and I'm providing you a job and a career, you're not going to come to me and say, Pat, buddy, Dude, you got familiar spirits. Okay? It wasn't millions of people. You're getting misreads from Satan. That's not going to happen. Why? I don't want to get fired. So what do I got to do? Pat, buddy, let me kiss your fanny so I can preserve my job and keep my income set. So what do you do? you you get a bunch of yes men around you. Butt kissers, fanny scrubbers. There they are. It happens in every major corporation. On the chairman of the board, what's he going to do? I'll take that one from that company, this one from that company, this one from that company. Why? I like them. They like me. They think like I do. So the demons go, hey, we we got a lifer here. Was Bill Robertson saved? Sure he is. Saved, good man of God, filled with spirit. Uh, here's the here's the uh, verses. You need to have these verses in your soul. And if you don't do anything tonight, you've got to remember this before you leave here. Streamers, this is what you've got to have. You do not accept anything from anybody at face value okay so if somebody says hey we want to go down this drunk tunnel and we'll all lay our hands on you i no, i'm not doing that i don't know where you've been i don't know where you've been this person could have been on porn two days ago this guy could have done god only knows what this guy could still have witchcraft you don't know who those people are never met them before i'm not going to accept anything you say i'm going to Wait for two or three confirmations from God. And that's how the Lord set this thing up for you. So he can keep you from being tricked 
lied to or deceived. <coughs> and these are your scriptures right there for the, that verse. Why did he say it so many times? Because it was so important. So important. You just don't accept everything everybody says by face value. You don't accept what I say by face value. You, you check it out. Yourself. You check it out yourself. You don't believe it just because I said it. What if I made a mistake? If you're always hungry all the time, always about eating food all the time, food, 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 is it a, is it a spirit or something? Usually, yeah, it's unclean spirits. What is your responsibility with familiar spirits? Okay, let's wrap it up then. You are to try and test them. You are to test them. Documazo. You test these demons. You don't just sit there and howl. Okay? Don't do that. How do you test them? If you do these seven things, listen, you're not ever going to get caught. Okay, here they are. Here's the big seven. I hope you will keep these. Or play this back or something. These are the seven things you need to learn to do. So you don't get caught by demons lying to you. And later on making a fool out of you. Later on making you sick. And later on killing you. And that's what they do in that order. They deceive you. They make a fool out of you. They make you sick. And then they kill you. How do they do that? Stress. High blood pressure. Too much food, too much drugs, too much alcohol, too many pills, too many, too many, too many, too many, too many, whatever. And boom, you're dead. Did you write these down, Larry? Okay. What does God tell, what is God's opinion of all these things I've been discussing tonight? How do we summarize it? In the eyes of God. What would, what would God say? Here's what God said. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. All the things that the Gentiles or the nations sacrifice to, they are sacrificing to Daimonia. These are all demons. And you are not supposed to have Koinonia, a partnership with demons. You're a born again spirit from Christian. You've been called out from among them you're not supposed to be living like a sinner anymore. You're not supposed to be doing that. You've been called out to higher ground because you cannot, what? You cannot, Mateko, you cannot be a participant eating at the Lord's table and then go eat over here at the table of demons. You can't do it. You cannot do it. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Well, you can just pray over it. Now, here's what are these things? The, exactly, they're demons. What are these things? Paul said they're de they're demons. What are these things? They were demons. They're not around. What were these things? Oh, they were all demons. All these false gods, all these religions, all this stuff is familiar spirits. Thank you. He's listening. What are you supposed to do tonight? Now, if you have this in your background or your family tree, or you think there's some curse on you, or there's some kind of familiar spirit following you around, or you get attacked in bed at night or something, I hope you'll stay for the altar call so you can get healed. You can get healed and delivered right here. Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. The Bible says you, because you have the Holy Ghost, you have God's Word, you have your faith, you can get rid of these things. You can stomp on them. Pateo. You can overcome the supernatural power of spirits. Luke chapter 10, it says it right there. And guess what? If you will fight back tonight and you will repent tonight, you will not be hurt. You will not be hurt. The devil will have to leave and tough. Matthew 18, you have, because you have the Holy Spirit. You have God's word. 
you can bind these familiar spirits from your family tree. Your grandma was a witch. Your grandpa was a mason. Doesn't matter. We can stop this tonight. We can stop it. You have the power to bind these spirits. You do not have to live your life as a drunk, an alcoholic, mentally ill. You don't have to die with bipolar, cancer. None of that stuff. Deo means to tie up or chain up. You have that ability. Luo means to loose. You can loose yourself tonight from these monsters. That's what God's Word says. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm just reading it right there in that verse. Matthew 18. Mark chapter 16. You have this authority given to you by Christ. The cross, the blood, the resurrection. Bought and paid for this authority for you to have to fight back tonight. And to break your family tree off your soul. Everybody in your family tree was crazy. They were demon possessed. They were all nuts. They were witches and warlocks. That ends for you tonight. You can stop it for you and your children. Tonight you can stop it. If you believe God's word you will receive it. Did you know that familiar spirits are actually afraid of you? When you use your childlike faith, it says here in James chapter 2, demons believe and they, for so they shudder in fear. During a deliverance, have you ever noticed that some people shake a lot? Those are the demons and they're scared. They're shuddering and they're in you and you're shuddering. They're scared. So if you see somebody manifesting, that's actually a good sign. You're getting through to them. If you sleep in the spirit, It depends on how, who's slaying you. <laughs> now, Second Timothy chapter 1. God did not give you tonight a coward spirit. Delia. That was mistranslated. You, do not, you are not a coward. You have supernatural power. You have unconditional love. And you have a strong, stringent, organized, disciplined mind. That's what God gave you. If you are living like an idiot or you're mentally ill or you've lost your... That's not God. That came from these spirits, whatever kind there are. They have to come out of your head tonight. Because you said so. You said so. Because you said so. Yeah? If you're not going to agree, you know what's going to happen, don't you? You get to go home sick. You got to get on board. That's called believing. You, you got well. It depends on you. Is this a one-time thing? It depends on Larry. Now, if Larry's going to stay here tonight and get rid of spirits in his brain, then it's a one-time thing. If you're not going to do it, it's not. Now that's all up to you. You know why? You got free will. That's right. You got free will. You can choose this day whom you will serve. Amen. Joshua said, me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Tonight you say, me, me, I'm getting these spirits out of my family tree and I'm getting them off me for the rest of my life. I've had enough of this. I'm going to use my childlike faith. I'm going to take that Bible scholar and drop, kick him out of my house. And like a kid... Who just loves. I'm just going to use my childlike faith and win. That would be the end of the seminar there. <laughs> All right. We've already had uh, a bunch of questions. So we're not going to take any more questions. Alright. We've already had several of them. So I'm going to close in prayer now. Oh. Lord, well, that was a long seminar, and it went too long, and I apologize for that. But tonight, Lord, there's some people here who are being harassed by spirits or oppressed by spirits because of their family tree. I know that. There's curses in their family tree. There's, there's sin in their family tree. And uh, I want them healed tonight and delivered. I want them to be released from the curses of their grandparents and their great-grandparents and the sin of their family tree, the drugs, the alcohol, the familiar spirits, the false religions, the, the spiritualism. 
I want each and every person here tonight, Lord, who has these spirits in their family tree and they're being harassed or hurt or they're sick from them, I'm claiming a healing for every single person that wants to be healed. Now pray, Lord, you will send us the Holy Ghost, the Great One. We're going to trust Him tonight and nobody else. 100%, 100% trusting. We're going to trust Him with everything we got. We're looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And we're not going to listen to familiar spirits lie anymore. It's going to end tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Oh. Wow. That was a familiar spirit seminar. <laughs> okay, we are going to take a three-minute break. And then we'll be right back here and you're going to get healed. How's that sound? God bless you. There's a bathroom right there on the inside. There's one on the outside to the right out that door. And the key is hanging right over that uh, uh, doctor's report of that lady that got healed of cancer. Right there in that key right there. Yeah. We'll see you in uh, five minutes. Testing. One, two, three. Okay, streamers, we're ready to go to our uh, healing service tonight. We're ready to go to our healing service tonight. Now, if you have a bunch of familiar spirits in your family tree... You know, grandma, grandpa, great grandpa, great great grandma. Somebody, somebody was into some kind of uh, spiritual activity they shouldn't have been in. Uh, that was an open door there to the family tree before you were born, and it wasn't your fault, and it's not your sin. But these spirits get in there, and then they come, they go down the tree. They don't float from other trees. They always get into the tree, and they stay in that tree. Till the end. That's how they get in. Right? And you can break this off of you. Okay, so streamers, what we're doing is we're going to turn the lights down uh, here in the House of Healing. We're doing that deliberately so that uh, people can have visual privacy. So they don't have a sense that somebody's staring at them while they're praying. Some people get self-conscious when they see somebody staring at them while they're praying. So if we turn the lights down, then that gives you a little chance to be alone with God and uh, uh, before I get started, I just remembered something. That was not an anointed thought I had there. I apologize for that. <laughs> All right. Now, you uh, were here for the seminar. You know what these spirits are like. You know if you're being oppressed by them or you have them yourself or they're in your apartment, they're in your home, they're attacking you at night, whatever it is. I mean, you saw the seminar, you know what they are, and you know what we need to do to get rid of them, okay? So all you got to do is come forward and just have a seat in this front row right here. Come forward right now if you need some kind of healing or deliverance. The ministry team is going to come forward and stand up here with me. You sit right here in this front row right here. Just have a seat in the front row. If you feel you need help, something in your family tree is got on you. Oh, we got too many people? Oh, okay. Second row then. Have a seat in the second row. I'm sorry, I didn't think that was many people were coming up. So just have a seat in the second row there. Apologize for that. Just have a seat right there. The second row. Then second row right here. Right. Oh, sweet Lord Jesus, we we give you praise tonight, Lord. We love you tonight. I love you tonight, Lord. Thank you for all these beautiful people you love. Grateful for them. Thank you for helping them. Thank you for caring for them. Thank you for loving them. Lord, if there's anybody here tonight who hasn't repented or who's here and they're just not sincere or they're taking this lightly, I pray you'll give them the courage to, to either repent or just get up and leave real quick so that nobody picks up a transfer spirit. Anybody here not that has not repented or is not willing to repent, if you're not going to repent, it would probably be better if you leave so you don't pick up some transfer from someone that is getting delivered. But if you're sincere and you want to repent, you're willing to repent.
Tonight is your night. God's going to touch you tonight. And God's going to heal you tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, I, I just ask for forgiveness for the sins of my family, the sins of my parents, my mother and father, my grandparents, my step parents. I just pray, Lord, and apologize for the sins of my family tree. All these people in my family tree that were sinning and they were in witchcraft or they were in some form of familiar spirits, evil, voodoo, false religions, any sin of my family tree, Lord. I just come to you right now and I apologize for what my parents and my grandparents did and I ask uh, for mercy for me, my family and my children in the name of Jesus and I ask you to reach down with mercy and forgiveness on my soul tonight and my family's soul tonight and my children's soul tonight and I want you Lord to reach down and stop this family curse from coming down the family tree even one more person I want you to break this curse off of it, according to Galatians chapter 3. I want you to break this curse of spiritualism and witchcraft and drugs and alcohol, hate and rage and anger. I want you to break this curse off me, adultery and fornication and lust and evil. I want you to break this curse off of me, Lord, from my family tree. I want you to release me from this evil of my parents and my grandparents and my great-grandparents and my uncles, my cousins, oh God. I apologize for the evil they were involved in. I ask you in the name of Jesus for forgiveness for this and to break this curse off my soul, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I come to you tonight, Lord, with a humble heart and a broken heart. I'm going to use my faith. Just like you taught me in those scriptures Brother Mike had on the screen there. I'm going to use my faith tonight to break this curse off my family tree. This curse of alcohol and drugs and food. I'm going to break it off in the name of Jesus. Any binge drinking or drug binging, I will break that curse off me in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. Tonight, Lord, is my night to have this evil broken off of me. This evil from my parents my grandparents, broken off of me tonight. i breaking this curse of Masons and Shriners and Voodoo and Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons and any other religion any of my ancestors got involved. And I ask for forgiveness for this sin. I confess it and I repent of it right now. And I turn my back on it in the name of Jesus, Son of God. This is my moment, Lord, for my healing. This is my moment to get this curse broken off of me. I can't live like this anymore. And I won't live like this anymore. I don't have to. I've got your love. I have your promises. I have the word of God. And now this thing must leave me as I sit here tonight. This spirit, this curse must be broken off me. And this thing must leave me right now in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. All right, now I want you to start praying. Now, Brother Steve's going to pray right now. And the spirits are going to start to just lift out of you. I want you to take a big breath. Just relax your body. Take a big breath and relax your body. Just like that. Yeah, that girl. Now just take a big breath and relax your body. Just like that. No, relax. Just relax your body. Just take a big breath and relax. There you go. Good. Just relax your body. There you go. Just relax. Father, forgive me for what I've done. I'm asking you for mercy. I'm confessing the sins of my parents and my grandparents. I confess it right now. Oh, God, have mercy on me. Just take a big breath, sweetheart. Good girl. Just relax there. Just relax. Good girl. Just take a breath and relax. Whatever sin your parents or relatives were involved in, that sin is breaking off you tonight. That curse is coming off of you tonight. Take a big breath. Good. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. In Jesus' holy names. You ready? You ready now? Here we go. I bind you, psychic power curses. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Satan in Jesus' mighty name. Come out of me. Demons that are coming to you from conjuring. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Every witchcraft curse hexes spell. I bind you in the name of Jesus. 
I loose an entire come hole down, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Satan, you are bound. Right now, we the loose an entire hole in your filthy holes in the mighty name of Jesus. Witchcraft, curse, hex, and spell, demon spirits. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Astrology spirits, come on. All you astrology spirits, come on. Spirits of astrology, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Astrology spirits, come out. Astrology spirits, come out. Astrology spirits, come out. Come out of them. Come out of them. Come out of them. Come out of them. Black mass spirits, come out. Black mass spirits, come out. Come out. Come out. Voodoo, come out. All you voodoo curses, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Inherited voodoo. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out, filth. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come out right now. Witchcraft. Transdiagnosis. Come on. Transdiagnosis. Come on. Handwriting come analysis. Come on. Come on, come on. Evolving in horoscopes. Come on, come on. Jesus Christ. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Signs right of the come zodiac. Come on. Come on. Streamers. Come on, come on. Numerology curses. Come on. Put your hand on your body. Observ observing of Demon times. Come on, come on, come on. Demon come on, come on, come on, come on. Come out of the woman of God. All spirits from yoga. Come on, come on. ESP. Come on, come on, come on. ESP. ESP. Come on, come on. ESP. All come demons out. from Claire audience, come out. Come Claire out. audience, come out. Curses from Jesus ours, come out, come out, come out. Claire audience, witchcraft curses from reincarnation, come out in the name of Jesus. Claire boy, animal sacrifices, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Ask you, come out, 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 Metaphysical self hypnosis spirits come out mind reading come spirits come out, come out come out mind control spirits come out in the name of Jesus mind control come out come out of my body right now come out 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 Come out, transactional analysis. Come out. All you witchcraft, curse, hex, and spells, I bind you. I loose an entire hole in the mighty, awesome name of Jesus. Come out of them. Come out of them. Witchcraft, curse, hex, and spell, I bind you. Witchcraft, curse, hex, and spell, I bind you. I loose an entire hole in the mighty name of Jesus. Now come out of them. Be gone. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Table tipping. Come out. All good luck charms, come out. He sinned in the Masters of wisdom the curses, come out. And that spirit. Polographic. Which now come out in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft curses come of everybody. automatic writing, come out. Come out, come out, come out. Come out. Automatic come composing, come out. There he is, right there. Come All spirit no, psychometric, come out. There come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Get out of body right now. Ambulance, come out. Right Ants, come out. <laughs> Italian come out. horns, come out. Come out, everybody. Witchcraft curses, curses and spells, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out of the name of Jesus. Out of there, you monster. Incantations over your life. Incantations over your life. Incantations over your life. Come out. from birth. Come out. Get out of my throat. Come out. Inherit. Get out of my lips. Inherit incantations over your life. Come out. Inherit incantations. Come out. Leave us potions. Come out. Sorcery curses. Come out. Aboriginal curses. Come out. Come out. Polar guy spirits. Come out. There it comes. Magic healing. Come out. Come out. Indian magic healing. Come out. Word burning. Come out. Burn charming, come out. My body right now. Powwow spirits, come out. Hold that bucket. Ying yang curses, come out. Come out right now. All spirits and spirits, come out. Superstition spirits, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Clicking his teeth, like there he comes. Go. Come out. All demons from a cult games, ESP, Kabbalah, come out. Dungeons and Dragons, come out. Ouija board, come out. Ouija board, come out. Ouija board, come out. Ouija board, come out. Come on, icon demons. Okay, come on, I can't do the soul travel. I bind you. Come out of Jesus. Soul travel. Come out. Soul travel. Come out. Soul travel. Come out. Come out of her. From rock music. Come out. Come out of her now. Rock music. Come out. Rock music. Come out. Witchcraft curses from rock music. Witchcraft curses from rock music. I bind you. Witchcraft curses from R&B and hip hop. I bind you. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out. Move. Go. All witchcraft curses from a cold movie. Come out. A cold video game. Come out. I told jewelry, come out. Voodoo curses, come out. 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 Water witching curses, come out. Water witching curses, come out. Water witching curses, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Get out of that body. Come out. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me go right now. Curse, come out. All you witch curses from blood, curses to the devil. 
Fight hard. Blood, blood covenants with the devil. Come on. Come on. Witchcraft curses from blood covenants with the devil. Come on. Inherited blood curses. Come on. Inherited blood curses. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hypnotherapy. Come on. Hypnotherapy. Come on. Color therapy. Come on. Biofeedback. Come on. Psychic healing curses. Come on. Mind science curses. Come on. Acting curses. Come on. 